from Drakensang. Sounds a boonies anyways. <laughs> At this rate, I'll get so much exercise just getting there that I'll end up losing weight and end up looking like some kind of wimp. <laughs> hey, you know, I bet that jerk is behind all of this. It's some kind of conspiracy. Yeah, and speaking of you-know-who, another one of his lookalikes tried to step up to me the other day. Just how low is he willing to sink anyway? I mean, how can they just call him the number one fighter in America? Just thinking about it makes my blood boil. I'm number one around here. Uh, but uh, I got too much class to break like that, though. It's you, Candy. With you around, honey pants, I let my mouth run off. And hey, maybe I say too much sometimes. <laughs> oh, don't look at me like that, baby. You get my hands sweating, and I'll end up losing control of this here bike. <laughs> You're the best girl in America, but nah, in the world. I screw that. You're the best in the freaking universe. <laughs> if I had to sum you up in just one word, I'd say you're super hot, but sexy, gorgeous, tastic. I would. <laughs> what do you say we uh, pit stop for lunch in the next place? Come to think of it, I'm not really seeing any restaurants around. Here. I don't think I seen a single friggin' building today, actually. Man, we must really be in the middle of friggin' nowhere. I mean, the gas station at the end was pretty clear, right? I mean, he said, go straight to the intersection, then turn where the white dog is sitting, right? But the dog was just like taking a catnap in the middle of the road. How was I supposed to know which way to go? And who ever heard of a dog that sleeps flat on its back like that anyway? That must have been Ken Masters. He totally knew I would whip his butt in a tournament, so he tried to sabotage me. Oh, you rude this day, Ken Masters. Rude! Your rival! Of the merits. Looks like I finally caught up to you, Blondie. <laughs> you gave me quite the runaround. The fat lady's about to sing, ain't she? Who the heck are you? Why, you little... That's it! Every time, man! Every time! Well, <laughs> I'm sick of this treatment! All right, man. I get it. You wanna fight me, is that it? Cool. I was just looking for an opponent anyway. Why, you! I'll pulverize you! I'll cut you up! Then I'll put you back together and do it again! <laughs> I'm impressed you made it this far. Show me your power. All of it! Don't hold back! Hey. Where'd you say you pushed this thing from? I mean, geez. <laughs> this is one heavy bag. I doubt I could get it a couple hundred feet myself. Well, my Rufus ain't no ordinary man. He's the best fighter in America, you know. And he's a gentleman. Pushing me around is no big deal to him, right, Rufus? Ow. 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 Ah. That's right. When I get serious, I could push a bike like that around the world seven times over. Of course, I rolled up my sleeve and fixed her a while back. She can go anywhere now. But uh, just riding around ain't gonna give me the thrills I'm after. Oh, Rufus, I just adore ya! Vroom, vroom, vroom. Time to hit the road, Candy. Where you wanna go? Hmm, let me see. I'm getting a little tired of this desert heat. Got it! Wanna check out the North Pole, baby? I like the way you think, Puddin' Pants. That's the greatest idea I've ever heard. I know, right? But I've never been to the North Pole before. You know how to get there, baby? Come on, Candy. That's a no-brainer. 
All we gotta do is head due north. We can't go any further north than the North Pole, right? Wow, you're like some kind of genius.